What's up Blockheads, coming to you guys with a taco install vid today. Uh, today we're going to be installing some Raptor style LED lights in the front TRD Pro grill here uh, at my boy Aaron's house. He's letting me use his garage because as you guys know, I'm not able to uh, work on my car where I live because the HOA does not allow it. So they were nice enough to let me borrow their garage. Thanks man. You're welcome. So yeah, these, uh, these Raptor lights, they go in the grill pretty much just like that. And then they pop in and then we got to wire them up through the back, gonna wire them into the fuse box. However, in keeping it true to Raptor fashion, we don't want it along this lower row. We want to put it on the top row, but in the TRD Pro grill, you do have this little piece right here that is keeping it from actually fitting in there. So what we have to do is dremel that little piece out first. So we got to do it on this one, that one and this one so we got the dremel all ready give that a shot and hopefully we don't mess it up so that's pretty much how we're going to have them but they're going to be yeah one row up also if you guys are interested in these i will drop a link down in the description below to everything that i'm using from the lights to the adafuse which is going to be this piece here to any of the wire strippers to hell even the dremel you guys need it so let's get started All right, so gone ahead and dremeled this piece out. It's pretty flush, as you can see. Just a note, if you guys don't wanna do this part, you can totally just place these, one of these, and it pops right in, you know? Like it'll pop right in there and it'll secure. I'm just being picky and wanting to be kind of true to Raptor style. So in order to get these in though, like they'll fit, but we need to take the, the very tops of these little corners off make that make that flush you can see kind of where the lineup so just gonna dremel that off real quick and if we mess up we actually have an extra one in a box somewhere out right here yeah there's an extra one in there just in case All right, see if that'll fit. Bam, that's it. It's not the smoothest thing ever, but yeah, it should fit. Nice and tight in that one. I missed barely any at all. Yeah, see that's, that's tighter. Now to get it wired up. <laughs> Aaron killing it with that camera game. All right guys, so next up, we're gonna take the wiring harness that they give us and uh, we're gonna connect all the wires that are sticking through on this side. All plastic out of there. So they did give you uh, four lights, so you're gonna have four plugs, but I'm only using three, so. Always better to have more than not enough. That's true. All right, so at this point we've got the wiring routed. You're basically gonna go through this opening here and then under through right here. And we may have more than enough to reach the fuse box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an adafuse and we've got the negative side and then we've got the positive side. So we're just gonna take the pieces off of there. Oh man, I should've brought my game. All right, so red, positive, adafuse, positive. So we're gonna wanna pit that wiring into there and then just basically crimp it down. And before we do that, so that it's all nice and secured up, I am going to grab 
we got some heat shrink tubing here. So we're just gonna grab some uh, some heat shrink that's gonna go around that. It's not too big, so that'll, that'll probably do it. Get a little tug, make sure it's in there. So then we're just gonna melt the heat shrink down with a lighter. Don't blow us up, bro. So that'll protect it from the elements somewhat. I'll probably put some tape. All right, so we got the add a fuse hooked up to the positive. And we need to add ring terminals so that we can hook it up to the ground, which is right here. So we're gonna basically undo that and we'll hook this piece up. That's how I wired my entire radio. Yeah, <laughs> electric tape. <laughs> yep. That will do. All right, so next step, fuse box cover. And we're gonna be tapping into... Flux capacitor? Yeah. <laughs> the uh, 10 fuse here. If you look on the bottom of the panel. So that one right there. Basically, uh, not the ones that are vertical, but the ones that are horizontal here. And you're gonna use this little piece to uh, take that one out. Squeeze it, it opens up. You place it on it, it clamps down, and then you pull it out just like that. Now you're going to take that fuse and put it into your add a fuse. So basically one of those is for like your stock fuse and then you're going to need another 10 amp. You also have some spares in there. All right, there you go. And then you're just going to replace it right back into where it went. All right, so we ran the line here uh, through uh, I guess you would call it like kind of a grommet, right? So what, what I did was unplugged the connector here. And then under that, you have a little tab right there, right? You press that down and you can pull this upwards. I ended up unplugging these as well, just so I had a little more clearance. But after you pull those upwards, this little piece on this side, you're able to open it up and then route the wire through that. So after you've got all that done, obviously just plug everything back in. You know, your wire won't be cut by the fuse box so that whenever you put it back on. All right, so that's back on. So basically we have the negative left and we're going to unscrew this the rest of the way. All right, so then we have excess line. So with your excess line, you're just gonna use some zip ties. Zip tie it where you can so it's not just dangling around. So I'm gonna do that real quick, figure it out. Right now, they are linked up to the headlights. However, I'm going to link them up later to the running lights. We'll make a video regarding that, but just to kind of tell you guys how to do that if you're looking to do that. So right in here, you have this harness right here that's going into the headlight and the running light. So if you want it to be, if you want them to be on whenever you have the running lights on, I'm pretty sure you're going to go into the pink wire. And then if you want it to be on whenever the headlights are on, you can do what we just did into the fuse box or you can tap it into the green wire. If you want it on whenever you have your running lights and headlights on, you're going to tap into both of those, the pink and the green wire. So I'll probably end up doing that in a future video just cause I like to have them on in addition to uh, like while the running lights are on, but they look good. Anyways, there you guys go. That's how you wire those up. And there is a little bit of customization needed on the uh, grill part, but I like them. What do you think? Looks good, man. Appreciate good. it. Appreciate the help, brother. Yeah. I'll hold the flashlight in time, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those look nice. I like them. All right. Well, like I said, if you guys are interested in doing this, the links to all of this stuff is down in the description below. Big thanks again to Aaron for the help. Appreciate it, man. And uh, if you guys have any questions, be sure to post them up down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon as well so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, you guys, ride safe, drive safe, modify safe, wire safe. Stay vigilant. we will catch you guys on the next one. Deuces. Yeah, it's turned out nice, man. I like it. Really bright. A lot better than I thought they would be. Yeah, you yeah. Sweet.